Hi guys, greetings of the day. Myself Vijay Tavardhan and in this video lecture session I am going to show you a solution on projection of solids. And an example problem is like this. A square pyramid 35 mm sides of base and 60 mm axis length rests on HP on one of its line triangular faces. Draw the projections of the pyramid when the axis appears to be inclined to VP at 45 degree. So according to this one has to construct a uh, square of size 35 mm which is a continuous line with 0.5 mm thick so we will go for 35 35 and the angle as 0 because it's a side resting then only we will get the slant triangular face so i will construct that uh, square in the hp properly then make use of a line command i am going to connect the diagonals as a dark line which is going to represent the top view of the slant edges then make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.13 i will draw the respective corner still it touches the xy line to draw the front view now we know that the axis portion is here and the height of the axis is given as 60 millimeter so one will set the axis length as 60 millimeter and then the front view is going to be completed as a triangle with respect to all the visible edges and then make use of a smart dimension and show that the axis height is 60 millimeter and the size of the square is 35 millimeter and then the line which is represented here it is it is supposed to be changed to the chain line because it is going to be the axis representation then make use of a text command start naming the corners as a b c d and this is going to be o as well as o1 and accordingly in the front view this corners will become b dash as well as a dash and then we have o1 dash and then we have c dash as well as d dash inside the bracket and now here the apex point will be marked as o dash now after which this line triangular faces is resting on hp now c dash d dash and o dash is supposed to be on the x y line for which one has to select the front view go with the move command move in such a way that with respect to the corner c dash and d dash sorry not the corner the side c dash and d dash it should be replaced on the x y line at convenient distance like this then go for rotate command rotate in such a way that c dash is on the xy line and o dash is to be shifted to the xy line like this now one can say that the slant triangular face is resting on hp then i will shift the o dash to the vp that is going to be the front view representation then change the line style to 0.13 mm and start drawing the projectors from all the respective corners now we are going to connect the o dash to o dash and then the remaining corners that is b and a everything is going to be connected like this then o1 dash is going to be projected up to here then make use of a text command and start naming the respective corners and this is going to be named as a and this as b c d and this will become o1 and this is going to be the corner o and then after locating the different points then make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.5 millimeter and a continuous line and start the boundary line the boundary line will be c b o and then a d back to see this is going to be the boundary line now according to this position the base is nearer to the observer compared to the apex henceforth the base edges must be the visible edges now the slant edges either partially or completely passing through the visible bases invisible so henceforth the line OD as well as OC is going to be the invisible edges however OA OB is going to form the boundary line then using a line command with the thickness of 0.13 and a chain line one has to connect O1 to O which is going to be the representation of the axis now the axis is not shown here clearly so henceforth we will delete this projector so that the axis visibility is going to be improved and then we are going to redraw the line from O to O1 like this so that the problem is sorry uh, the second stage is completed in all aspects and after which the axis is getting reduced in its length now this is called as apparent length of a line now the given inclination is called as apparent angle because it is given as appears to be inclined to vp at 45 degrees so one need not to construct that angle beta because the angle beta is already given in the question so make use of the line command with the thickness of 0.13 and a continuous line construct a angle beta so that the angle will be set as 45 degree after drawing the inclined line then o o1 should be repositioned on the 45 degree line like this now 
one can select the top you go for a move command move in such a way that o1 is supposed to be positioned on the 45 degree line like this and after which go for a rotate command make sure that o1 is there itself and o1 is going to be shifted on the 45 degree line like this and then make use of a line command with the thickness of 0.13 and a continuous line one can start drawing the projector still it touches the x y line and the respective points as per the given conditions or as per the conditions where the solid is resting and then we will take o1 so o1 is going to be positioned to o1 and then we have c and d is left out so c is going to be projected here and then d is going to be projected here then make use of a text command start naming the corners so this corner will become a dash this as b dash and this as c dash and this is going to be the d dash and this is going to be o1 dash and this is going to be o dash now according to the rules of visibility one has to complete the boundary line with 0.5 mm thickness so we will identify the boundary as a dash to b dash then to o dash then to c dash and then to d dash then connect to a dash and then according to the visibility rules according to the uh, uh, position of the solid the base is nearer to the observer compared to the apex hence the base edges must be visible the base edges c dash b dash is going to be shown as a visible base edge then such of the slant edges which are either partially or completely passing through this visible base will become invisible that is o dash a dash is supposed to be joined as a invisible line and then o dash to o1 dash has to be shown as a axis line in the form of a chain line that is o dash to o1 dash has to be connected as a chain line like this now one can say that the problem is completed in all aspects according to the given conditions now if anyone is having any sort of doubts to solve this problem feel free to contact me and also kindly share this video to all your first year engineering students and kindly subscribe to my youtube channel thank you guys thank you once again